A six-year-old boy has been struck and killed by a school bus driver. It happened around 8 this morning in Kleinberg. Our Ali Shiasan is at the scene. And Ali, just a tragic situation there. What can you tell us about what happened this morning? Well, Dwight, I can tell you that the school bus is still here. The bus driver also remained on scene. But the actual collision happened about an intersection just south of here. And you can see some police and forensic investigators still doing their work. This is where a six-year-old boy was struck and killed while he was running for the school bus, which is what we are told here. Um, the bus driver, like I said, remained on scene, is cooperating with the police investigation. This is just a tragedy all round, and you can even hear it in the police constable's voice as he gave us an update. So this morning, just before eight o'clock, York Regional Police responded to Pierre Burton Boulevard and Kleinberg Summit Way for the reports of child being struck by a school bus. The six-year-old boy uh, suffered fatal injuries and unfortunately was pronounced on the scene. We are working hard right now with our partners to continue the investigation. We have victim services and uh, peer support that are available for officers, parents, teachers, children that may be affected by this. Um, we don't have a lot of information right now. Our uh, officers are currently working diligently to make sure that we are addressing everything here. The uh, bus driver has remained on scene. They are being very cooperative and obviously being assessed by EMS for the horrible, horrible scenario that they've been involved in. Anytime our officers, anytime um, first responders, any uh, EMS that come to a scene and see something that's horrible, dealing with a tragedy that just ruins everything for everyone. There are a lot of young families in this neighborhood, and they are obviously also so devastated by this. Many of them witnessed the collision because it was school bus time when it happened. People were taking their kids to the bus stop. This woman's husband told her what he saw, um, and that was that the boy was walking with his mom on the other side of the street, saw the bus had already stopped, and then she says the boy ran across the street, and that's when he was hit. Here's what she and other neighbors told us. We parents, my, I have kids here, or kids, they always go to the park to play. This thing is very heartbroken. And for the kids that saw this thing happen this morning, because kids were in the bus, they all saw it. So this is very, very sad. I don't know how it happens. I don't know how she didn't notice that this little kid was crossing and she ran across the child. I don't know. This is very heartbroken for me. It was hectic. It was, you know, family arriving to the scene. You can hear, the, see their pain. There's a lot of pain. So to piece together what transpired here, uh, York Regional Police investigators are going door to door and they are asking uh, for witnesses to tell them what they know, tell them what they saw. They're also asking for dash cam footage and also perhaps home security footage that might have caught the school bus uh, as it was traveling along. Um, so that's for the uh, collision reconstruction experts to try to assist in this investigation. But again, to reiterate, the school bus driver is cooperating here. Uh, in the investigation. Um, one thing is for sure, though, uh, this is an all round tragedy. People are absolutely devastated by this. Still, very early in the investigation, uh, no word on any possible charges uh, that could be laid here, but we will stay on it all day for you. Dwight. Yeah. As the person you interviewed said, Ali, a lot of pain in that community this morning. Thank you.